blessed by the divine how do you cast off an evil eye this was a question asked to me in one of the forums that i am participating in now what is an evil eye let's just define that in the first place our brain in our thinking process sends out waves a sound is a wave a brain thought is also a wave these can be measured using an electroencephalogram an eeg machine now these waves like any other wave like a sound wave has certain properties it travels it clashes it refracts it reflects it absorbs and it penetrates these are the basic functions of any wave whether it is a sound wave light wave or a brain wave now because a wave has these properties whichever object or a person that you are aiming this particular thought force it travels towards that person and the remaining reactions take place this is physics this has been studied well by scientists and they have acknowledged that yes indeed there seems to be these brain waves that are traveling clashing reflecting refracting penetrating and being absorbed and there is constant interaction because of these functions now when there is a positive thought that is let us say we bless someone we say be blessed when we say be blessed there is a frequency that this wave emanates with what is that frequency when we say be blessed the tongue touches the upper palate when we say blessed b l e blessed when we say blessed the when we say the l the tongue touches the upper palate when it touches the upper palate our pituitary gland and a portion of the pineal gland gets activated when the pineal gets activated the brain kicks itself into an alpha level of frequency this is a subtle levels of frequency 8 to 13 cycles per second when it reaches the subtle level of frequency the brain is at its calm best state at a calm state the brain's waves acquire a positive characteristic a harmonious characteristic a subtle frequency with which the thought force emanates comes out with certain positive powers that is ready to give result to whoever this particular blessing is aimed at it travels towards that person because there is the almighty state of super consciousness that connects all our brains and this has not been well studied by scientists yet and i'm sure at some point of time science will bridge this gap between what it knows and what the philosophers had always said now this is what we call as intuition any mother any father would know what i'm talking about when a child needs a mother the mother intuitively understands that the child requires or needs help how did that message get communicated there is no wire in mechanism there is a wireless wifi connection between the mother and the daughter if that can happen between a mother and a daughter it can also happen between any two two human beings in the world and it does happen the wave travels and the wave is sometimes perceived at a conscious level by the recipient and many times we don't consciously understand these things but 
a thought may emanate with that person's image or a word and we might feel like calling that person talking to them or we might you know send him a message and so on and so forth these are intuitive reactions of the brain because the wave has been received by this brain similarly when there is someone who has an evil interest to harm someone else curses that person that wave also reaches in a similar fashion to the recipient and that is waiting to give results and such a thought force is what we call it as evil i now is it possible to manage get rid of it yes of course it is possible to get rid of it by first learning to do simplified kundalini yoga you focus your mind on your own life force energy and go to the subtler levels of frequencies the so called the alpha level of frequency by meditating at the duriya chakra or the crown chakra your brain will remain operating at the alpha level of frequency at that frequency the brain has the capacity to get rid of any of the waves that it has already absorbed and keeping if the someone has cast an evil eye so called the negative thought has already been received and absorbed by your brain then by going to the alpha level of frequency you can get rid of these waves and the process of getting rid of these waves can also be done by a trained kundalini master through a process of what we call energy passing we intensify the almighty energy in our hands and we pass our life force over the other person whose body or brain might have absorbed these evil forces and by just simply passing over it and we can drag those evil energy out of the person and completely earth it this can only be done by a trained simplified kundalini yoga master this cannot be done by anyone else we have about 2500 centers across the world and you can come and learn this you can do this for yourself you don't need really a trained master to do it but to raise your kundalini you need a trained master to do it so if there is a child for instance who is suffering from any of these problems we can certainly help do please get in touch with any of our centers and we'll be happy to help give the clearance for the child so that the child gets out of these problems if there could be side effects because of these cast um, you know evil eye that has been cast on the child and that can be easily protected and easily eliminated from that particular child similarly for adults we can help the adult also very very easily there is of course a wonderful circle of divine circle of protection that our guru shri vedatri maharishi has taught us the divine protection has to be done first imagining a circle around ourselves in a clockwise direction so imagine that the circle starts from here goes behind like this comes around like this and goes around like this and comes around like this by imagining a circle around ourselves and by repeatedly saying the following words it is possible for us to get rid of not only this evil eye that has been cast on us but also protect ourselves against absorbing such evil or harmful thoughts into our system the divine protection goes like this may the almighty force protect us guide us lead us support us day and night at all times in all places and in all our duties you can repeat this 3 times You can do this in the morning, you can do this in the evening, you can do it when you're going out of the house, you can do it around any human being or any other life form. You will find that there is a divine protection that guides you, leads you, support you and always there for you as a beautiful, wonderful protective layer. Be blessed by the divine.